over here to the streets of Dallas here, guys. Uh, we're going to going to the next game. Big game here, man. National TV game, guys. We're going to the streets of Dallas here. We have the Mavs here getting a point and a half from the Golden State Warriors here uh, with some juice on either side. Uh, on the money line, Warriors land minus 125 here. Uh, you can get back plus 105 if you'd like to go with the Mavericks here. Over and under sitting at 228 in this one, Josh. Um, you having any look on this game? Mavs obviously been very lackluster here. Um, do you think they can get bounce back here? Yeah, I think they can. I uh, I was very close at plus two to playing Dallas. I made this a pick. Um, it's you know moved very marginally in that direction, so you could still say there's uh, value, especially if you want to take Dallas money line at the current price here. I know that the Mavs haven't looked particularly great this season. Um, I think we're also in a situation where everyone's assuming that Golden State's back to their best. I, I don't buy that particularly. I mean, I think they'll get to that point at some point in the season. Uh, I just don't think it's quite there yet. Um, you know, they rattled off a few wins, none of them particularly impressive if you go and look at who they've played, where they played, and then situationally in every single one of those games. So, yeah, I, I still think that Dallas is the right side here. I think matchup-wise... You know, the question I think is just going to be whether the Mavs can get enough offense from everyone outside of Luca in this matchup because the Warriors are likely just going to try and trap him and, and you know, blitz him and be as aggressive as possible uh, whenever he's sort of handling the basketball. And that's going to put a lot of impetus on everyone else to have to try and score, which hasn't worked out well for the Mavs at all. We saw it in particular against Dallas, uh, sorry, in particular against Toronto, where Dallas were kind of forced to find scoring options elsewhere because of the way the Raptors, you know, planned and schemed for that matchup where they forced the ball out of Luca's hands and it never, ever looked good. Uh, so, you know, I don't think we can quite trust that the Mavs to, to score outside of him, but at the same time, it's going to have to happen eventually and they're going to have wide open looks because you're talking about one of the best playmakers in the league uh, in double team situations. He's going to find the open man every single time. So if Dallas can knock down their shots, I think there's absolutely every chance they win outright. Uh, I think the line value is on on Dallas. Like I said, I, I make it a pick. So it, it's the only way I would play it here. And I think I might have a slight lean towards the over as well um, in this particular matchup, just because I think that, you know, the Mavs also kind of recognize that offensively they're going to have to score well if they're going to beat Golden State here. And I, I still don't trust this Warriors defense yet to, to necessarily lock up anyone. So lean towards the over, lean towards Dallas. Again, didn't get involved in this game as yet, but uh, they're the only two ways I would play it. Yeah, I'm with you there, Josh. I'd like to take the Mavs here as well. Obviously, one of my main spots in the NBA is taking a team when they've coming off playoff revenge, when they've come off getting kicked out of the playoffs by a certain team. That's what happened here. These two teams faced off in the Western Conference Finals, Chris. Um, obviously, the Warriors won. Uh, they beat the Mavs. Obviously, they went on and went to the championship. But first game next season, I always look towards a team that lost a game. It's a peak motiva motivation spot. You've really been uh, thinking about that team putting you out as well the whole offseason, working on different things, trying to get better. It's a big game for the Mavs here. Third straight um, national TV game. They lost the previous two, Chris. What do you think is going to happen here? Yeah, for exactly what you just said, that's the reason why I'm not taking the Warriors, although I do kind of like them tonight. But you're right, right? The Mavericks haven't been playing well. The back at home. It's a revenge spot. So just a lot of things coming together for some positive regression there for Dallas. But I do like that the Warriors are starting to find a rhythm. I guess I'm buying into it a little bit more. Um, you know, and, and, you know, the problem is obviously if you want to take the Warriors in this one, it is, it is just tough going up against all those narratives, but I do like the Warriors to score some points. So I'm taking over 114.5 team total, um, Warriors. I just think they're going to, they're going to be able to determine the tempo of this game. If you look at the way that they attacked Minnesota from the onset, like there's an alley-oop first play from Draymond to Andrew Wiggins. They just kept on attacking, attacking, attacking. And that does seem to be working for Golden State, creating some of that space that we saw from them when they had a lot of success last year in the playoffs. And they're consistently putting up huge totals. Uh, they won six out of the last eight games. And in those six wins, averaging 126.6 points per game. And in those eight games, they've had five players that are getting some of the highest marks in offensive efficiency in the NBA. Wiggins is 36. Looney's 29th. Draymond's 26. Steph, obviously, he's always up there. He's at 17th. But one thing I really like, Clay is at 15th the past eight games, 23.1 points per game in that span, 50% from the field, which he could probably improve that even a little bit more. Meanwhile, I mean, you know, Dallas has just slipped in, into one of the worst defenses in the NBA right now, especially over the last five games. 
so I don't think this is an ideal spot for them to see regression on defense. I agree with Josh. I'm glad that he said that. I think that Dallas is going to have to just keep up with Golden State. Their top six offense the last two weeks, third in effective field goal um, percentage. And like I said, attack, 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 right? Like if something's working, I tend to plan a team expecting the same thing until it doesn't work anymore. And right now it's working for the Warriors. Uh, you know, there are plenty of teams who want to have revenge on the Warriors too, but I don't think that's going to, you know, necessarily limit them. I think, you know, maybe the Mavericks just get a little boost on offense. So I like the over in this one, just like the Warriors team total a little bit more. Exactly. Yeah, couldn't talk you off this one. Um, I can't wait to watch this game. Definitely going to be a great one. Uh, be interested to see the Mavs. They're one thirteen and one against the spread last fifteen games. So uh, they've been playing very lackluster. They let Grayson Allen start the game. Uh, I believe five of five from three point in the first half in the last game, though. Um, but still uh, kept their own or whatever. Only lost their game by nine. But tough game for me. Would like to lean towards the Mavs here. Uh, but with them playing so bad, I did end up staying off the game, guys. Uh, one more game here, and then put those questions in the chat. We will answer them. Uh, Chris is rocking with the Warriors over team total 114.5. Official, like a referee blowing the whistle here, guys. And if, I, over here to the... and if I may, Jay, I just want to add, the United States of America just scored a goal. <laughs> I know Jay doesn't care, but a lot of people care about that. one nothing America. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Josh doesn't want to hit it right now. <laughs> no, Josh doesn't want to yeah, hear it. No, Josh has a bet the other way. <laughs> yeah, definitely a big game going on right now, guys. The USA sound like they're up one zero, guys.